Hi, uh, my name is Mark McKnight and welcome to this lesson with LearnItPlayIt.com. In this lesson we're going to take a look uh, in a little more detail at a progression that you'll already be familiar with um, from the previous lessons and that is the 251 progression. As you know, this is one of the most common progressions in jazz and comes up in almost every standard tune. Uh, the purpose of a 2-5-1 uh, is to make the one chord sound like a target by building tension on the 2 and the 5. When this tension is resolved on the 1, we have a sense that is a point of arrival um, in the progression and this is satisfying to the ear. Uh, looking at a 2-5-1, we see that each of the chords could be said to come from the key of the 1 chord. Strictly speaking, this is true. However, if we only play the notes from the key in our soloing, it can sound a little dull and it can be difficult to build up tension, particularly on the 5 chord. Therefore, we tend to use the altered scale on the 5 chord. This increases the tension for a short period of time and therefore increases the sense of resolution when we move back into the key for the 1 chord. Um, so let's, let's put this into practice by playing some 2-5-1 patterns and then figuring out what modes uh, work over them and how they look. Uh, let's pick a key um, and let's choose randomly E flat major. The reason for this is because it's it's a reasonably common key in jazz. Uh, in this key, the two five one would be F minor seven, B flat seven, and uh, E flat major seven. So in this lesson, we will comp the two five one in this key in two areas of the neck. Um, so let's first of all try it uh, in this sort of middle area. So our F minor seven using root and guide tone voicings is going to be, well there's our F, so that's an F minor 7. Now as in previous lessons we're going to voice lead to B flat 7, 1 flat 7, 3, and then again voice leading to E flat major 7, 1, 3 major 7. So you can see that the root movement is from F to B flat to E flat, 2, 5, 1. And the guide tones look like this. That's for F minor 7, that's the flat 3 and the flat 7. Then for B flat 7, we've got the flat 7 and the 3. And for E flat 7, we have the major 3rd and the major 7. So we have. Okay, now in the higher area on the neck. Well, let's pick an F minor 7 up here. Standard root and guide tone shape. Now voice leading to B flat 7 in that area. 1, 3, flat 7. And again voice leading to uh, E flat major 7. So our guide tones look like... As you can see, that's very smooth. Okay. Um, so now let's consider which modes and arpeggios are appropriate for each chord. On F minor 7, we're going to play F Dorian. Uh, this is the second mode in the key of E flat major. So now let's look at how this mode works over each of the F minor shapes we're going to be using in the lesson. Um, so first of all, here's F minor 7 in the middle of the neck. And here's the arpeggio that goes with it. That's a standard 1 flat 3, 5 flat 7 arpeggio, minor 7. Now here is the mode over the chord shape. These are just the notes of E flat major over an F minor chord to give us F Dorian. Okay, now let's try it in the higher area. First of all the arpeggio. 1, flat 3, 5, flat 7, 1, flat 3, 5, flat 7, we'll do that again. Okay, so you're going to practice that up and down. Now, to play F Dorian in that position, we're just going to play the notes of the E flat major scale over this F minor 7 chord. So, it looks like this. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's move on to the 5 chord, B flat 7. 
Uh, as we said earlier, to increase the tension, we're going to use a B flat altered scale in this chord as opposed to a more regular inside sounding B flat mixolydian. Um, as you know, the altered scale is the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. Therefore, to get B flat altered, we must take uh, the C flat melodic minor scale and play it over a B flat seven chord. Now, as C flat and B are the same note, it's probably easier to think of the C flat melodic minor as B melodic minor. Um, just do whichever works for you, whichever you find easier, choose that one and use that as your way of thinking about this scale. Um, so now let's see what this mode is going to look like uh, over each of the B flat seven chord shapes that we have. Here's our first chord shape and here's uh, the altered scale, the B flat altered scale over that. We're playing the notes of B melodic minor over a B flat seven chord. Okay, now as I've talked about before, the arpeggio that you get from this scale is a B minor seven flat five, but that's not entirely reflective of the chord sound that we want. So we're gonna play this arpeggio over this particular chord. It's called a uh, B flat seven um, flat 13 or sharp five arpeggio. So it contains the first degree of the scale, the fourth degree of the scale, the sixth degree of the scale, and the seventh degree, so it sounds like this. Okay, now let's try that in the higher area. There's our B flat seven chord. Let's try playing the B flat altered scale over that now. Okay, now let's play the same arpeggio in that area. 